Hello Crockett Roos, this is Miss Fincher, your librarian, and today I'm going to show you how to access the Texas Blue Bonnet book review online form. Um, any student grade 3 through 6 who wants to be eligible to vote for the Blue Bonnet Award at the end of January needs to have read and reviewed at least five Blue Bonnet books. I've been telling them in library, the more you read the better, but they have to have read and reviewed at least five and I'm really hoping for a high participation rate this year. So with your support and encouragement in the classroom, um, hopefully we can achieve our goal. So let's look, um, I'm gonna show you a few different ways to access the form. The first way is um, from the Crockett homepage. Um, you can go to academics and then click on the library and media center and that will take you here to my homepage. Um, on the Symbaloo, in the bottom left corner, the students could um, click on the Texas Blue Bonnet Award icon. If they chose the video camera, it would bring up this, which is um, book trailers for each of the Blue Bonnet nominees. And I've told students in their own time, maybe free time and in class or at home, they could go on and watch some of these book trailers and just try to decide if it's a book they'd want to check out and read and review or not. So that is one part of the Blue Bonnet process. But the most important thing that I want to show you today is the review form. So if they click my review, it will bring up the Texas Blue Bonnet book review online form. And the student will need to type their first and last name, their grade level, just type the number, so three, four, five, or six, and then they will choose the book that they've read. Um, this week in library, I'm reading The Day the Crayons Quit to all third through sixth graders. So they should um, all be able to go on and fill out a book review for this book because we've all read it. Um, they'll click picture book and then just two to three sentences um, about the book. I just want a brief summary, not a page long report. Um, just enough for me to know that they actually took the time and read the book. And then, what did you like or not like about this book? I just want their honest opinion. Um, and then, just rate it. One, two, three, four, five, depending on how much they loved it, and click Submit. Let's look at a different way. I'm going to leave this for now, but we'll come back. Um, so here's the library homepage. Students can also access the form from the um, Crockett Elementary catalog homepage through Destiny. I've put my symbol on the homepage. Same process. Blue bonnet, my review, brings up the same form. Um, and then I've also made the form available here on the library's Facebook page as well as on Twitter um, because I have several older students who follow the Facebook and Twitter and um, so they could access it on their phone or at home um, so I've tried to make it um, as easily accessible as possible. Let's look really quick at how you can make it easier for your students in the classroom to review a Blue Bonnet book. So if I pull up the review form um, and you have it pulled up just like this you're going to go up to the top left corner and click File Save As and when this new window pops up, make sure that you click desktop on the left side. And then I would leave the name the same, Texas Blue Bonnet Book Review. And you're going to click save. Now when I minimize, here it is on my desktop. So students could, if they had time in class to review, um, go straight to your classroom computer and right there on the desktop, double click, and there it is. It brings up the book review. Um, like I said, this is very simple. It shouldn't take students more than five to ten minutes to review a book. And by having this form online, it will just make it really easy for me to um, keep up with who has read what and how many Blue Bonnet books they've read. Um, so I'm really excited that we've gone online. And um, I just want to thank you for your support. If you have any questions about the Texas Blue Bonnet Award or the online form or any of the books, don't hesitate to email or call me. Thanks.